Good morning. My happy hour back. Here's the plan. The swimming pool guys, mostly today, I think is about plastering, but the channel to allow water flow will be revealed. Up on the roof, lots more metal work going on. No idea when they now think they'll finish that. I think that the painting, the waterproofing, might take them a while. We'll see. Inside the house, quite a bit more plastering downstairs and some more still upstairs. Plus, we are going to educate each other on language. I'll explain in a minute. What could possibly go wrong? Here at the pool, tiling day. There's not an awful lot left to do. So they're just kind of filling in bits and pieces around corners and edges and bottoms. Uh, but this must be getting fairly close to being fully tiled. Plus, I cannot explain why I've got quite excited about a hole in a wall. But I have. Here's the channel. So I think that looks spot on. It'll allow water flow. There's no chance of kids getting through there, stuck in there. All we've got to do now is make sure that the bridge on this side, which I think is very close, if not right next to it, doesn't have a gap from the top of this wall to the bottom of the bridge that again would allow kids to get stuck in it. I'm sure they can deal with that. George from Cars and Tech's Pina took a look at the drone footage from yesterday and up here above the stairs he said one of the purlins looked a bit caddy wampus and I had absolutely no idea what he was talking about. Basically, it's a phrase that, as he's explained to me, dates back to maybe the 1830s or 40s in the, in the southern US, and is taken to mean a awry or askew. So, what he saw was one of the purlins wasn't straight. Well, we did recheck and that purlin wasn't straight. It was absolutely right. It was a great spot from drone footage but it wasn't fixed in place. It was just lying there, kind of having a bit of a rest. Uh, and they did fix it, put it in place and straighten it. But it got me thinking, Caddy Wampus is an absolutely brilliant phrase that I had never come across. What else is there? So this is the language education part. What have you got that might be regional? It might be very local. It might just be a bit weird. What can you share with us that is a phrase or a word that just might tickle our funny bones or get us intrigued? Educate us all with your language knowledge. Can you top Caddy Wampus? Downstairs. We are getting wiring from Mr. Jesse Bamba for lighting in the ceilings. And as always, not complete silence. Sorry it's a bit dark in here, but we have Ariel on plastering smoothing duty. He's going along after Richard has put the initial plaster coat on. So he's dealing with that smoothing element while at the same time Marvin's up there taking care of the front wall in the kitchen and Richard's around. My bar back. Richard's around as well. One of the last two remaining bathrooms to be plastered is being plastered right now. More concrete hollow block up at the front of the house to once again A, support the roof and B, stop uh, the potential for typhoon winds to 
get underneath the roofing material and rip it off. At least, that's the plan. This bathroom in the bedroom at the back of the house in the center is the last one that has absolutely no cast iron at all yet. So, help it out. It's feeling a bit down in the mouth, this bathroom. Give it a like. Have you ever given a like to a bathroom? Ridiculous. Oh, go on. It's almost the end of the day. It's been a very uh, busy one with other things today. So a very short video. And I'm back here at the back wall. Well, kind of a bit around the corner where it was finished off. And I'm here because Anton Hemming put a comment in to say, what's going on with the wall? We missed that build. And of course, he was joking. He sent me a follow up to confirm. But I thought, you know what? Me too. I still haven't got the initials put on the brick. I will. Just got to find someone to do it for me. Or maybe even try and scratch it out myself, but that'll be very messy. Not part of the build, but a compost update. I know you like them. Well, maybe not. Anyway, this was the original pile. Dosed it with water again today. Still not sure if it's enough. Still not getting too much heat into it, but second one started. That looks quite a lot, but it dramatically reduced in size as it breaks down. It's predominantly paper and well, kind of grass really. There's a load of old banana plant leaves in there as well. Uh, plus some bits of banana tree, which are gonna take a long time to break down. But at least we started two lots of compost. At the swimming pool, the tiling is virtually complete, unless they're gonna do something inside where that seating area will be. I don't know what the plan is in there, but everywhere else, with one or two very, very minor exceptions, is tiled. So, they've been doing two other things today. Firstly, they've been working on the rim around the outside edge of the island. And I'll show you something else they've been doing. Here we have what will be an overflow area. So there's a pipe going into the pool and I don't know if later on there'll be more than one. I guess there might. And they started digging a trench all the way around this side. I'll show you where it goes. As I was walking around towards the end of the trench, came across a second overflow pipe. So I, I think there'll be a few. So the trench extends all the way around, almost over to the pump room. I'm not entirely sure what happens then, but I think it will be connected in to pipes that will carry water right down to the front of the property. And it'll get basically dumped out into outside the front of the property where ultimately we are hoping there will be sewers there's not yet though this is looking up at the northwest corner the back basically of the house and they are just making a start on preparing columns and beams for a bit of plaster so it would appear that outside plastering is coming soon. This is looking into the kitchen from where the door will be into the dining room. Sorry, again, lighting is a little bit tricky, but kitchen walls inside, all done with the exception of, well, obviously there's a lump up there where there's pipe work still, but just here in between the corridor down towards the dirty kitchen and the doorway into the pantry. All the other walls are done. In the laundry room, one side finished, the other side about oh, just slightly less than halfway done. This is the area that one of the Marvins has been working on for the last couple of days. So, far wall done. 
this wall halfway done this wall halfway done and then the bit downstairs to do this is the penultimate bathroom upstairs that is not yet fully plastered the wall on the right all done the wall at the front partly done nothing yet on the left and just around the corner partly done so there's still quite a bit to do in here but as previously they are preparing to basically start to build in a niche at this end where the shower will be the bathroom through here back of the house in the middle still untouched with plaster don't forget bathroom like the concrete hollow block for the elevated central area of the roof looks to me like it's done at this end you can see it's three concrete hollow blocks high and it gradually increases as it heads out towards the front where i think it ends up at about four and a half almost five concrete hollow blocks high so it's, it's maintaining the same pitch as the rest of the roof just at a slightly higher elevation i've just looked at a couple of areas where wire is poking out i think there might be a bit of an issue here i need to talk to the builder i'll come back to it speaking of things that don't look quite right this window the closest one of the two i know it's hard to see when with the camera the way it is but i don't think that the top of that window is level we'll have to take a look at that on monday up on top it's just a maze of metal going in all directions now so this area over the entrance hall is where the elevated roof section will be just going from front to back the rest of the roof basically is all on the same plane the same elevation uh, and they have over here started to put in that front wall effectively to try to stop typhoon winds getting in underneath that roof when it goes on it is the end of the day day 137 the day in which i got introduced to the phrase caddy wampus or catawampus so what have you guys got can you match that for it's poetry and mysticism. Doesn't have to. Anything that's a bit weird, really. Anyway, that's the end of the week. So, uh, good week. Lots of plastering. Almost getting to the point where plastering upstairs inside is done. A lot more work on the roof. A lot more work on the swimming pool, where I think tiling is very close to being completed. Quite a bit now of plastering downstairs on the inside. It's been a good week. One could almost say it's been built delicious. See you next week.